So there's a misunderstanding that you're not allowed to talk about profit. It's not true, and people misunderstand it. The problem with profit is not that it exists, it is where it comes from. Does it come from the essential effort of someone else? If that person stopped doing something, would the product uh, stop going up in value? Would the product stop functioning, right? Is there essential effort from another party? If that website disappears and I die, product still works perfectly well. You can go to etherscan.io and use the right contract function and do absolutely everything you want. Nothing changes, right? So because users are doing the vast majority of the work, because there's no essential effort from my part or anyone that I know, because there's no uh, promise of any work whatsoever, none, no promise of any work whatsoever has ever been made. The exact opposite of that. I have no expectations now whatsoever. Now, on the slide, you, you, you do mention <clears throat> that it was designed yes. to have what? Yep, 10,000 X return in less than two and a half years. Yep. And that phrase could be uh, a- It can't. So watch me, watch me win this one. Watch me win this one. You ready? <laughs> well, 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 I mean, I don't doubt you, but, but I'm, I'm sure just people saying, can look if people want to bring it to court and, and, and waste everyone's time, right. they can, right? They can do that, but I'm going to win. Like I read the law and I understand it and I'm playing by the rules. So, okay. If, so that's so like, uh, let I, me cover I, the 10,000 X thing. Okay. Right. How many X return was Bitcoin designed to do? It was designed to replace fiat currency, right? And it yes, started I mean, out so, worth nothing. So that part right? I've read. So that's but infinite Bitcoin X. Didn't really, didn't really have marketing saying it's going to, well, like, like pumpamentals and. It did pump, though. It, it, it introduced two pumpamentals. It input, introduced freemium onboarding by people double clicking an EXE, which is basically like a coupon of giving something free stuff. So they FOMO well, in correct. after. But, and they but the marketing wasn't really that Bitcoin lacked marketing. It was being marketed by individuals who are not associated right, with but the company. Once again, the, there is no problem saying that things are likely to appreciate. Collectible plates, collectible comics, art, Ferraris, houses, they all appreciate and they're not securities because the issue isn't the appreciation. The issue is where does the appreciation come from? Bitcoin's up 750,000 X right now. It was up over 2 million X in 2017. And it was designed to do that and more. But people are too stupid to realize it. So I have to point it out to them that yes, indeed, Bitcoin was designed to do millions of X return and actually did it. And here's the pump mentals it used to do it with a cutting the inflation rate in half every four years, which wasn't in the white paper, right? So all the things Bitcoin did, Hex is doing, right? Hex has pump mentals, right. Bitcoin I mean, had pump mentals. That, that part I did get, but it could be misconstrued by sure. Bitcoin as almost a guarantee. But it's their job. It's their job to understand the nuance. It's their job to understand the nuance. And there's a big difference between something saying something can go up and it will go up. So if I tell you, if I tell you Hex can go up 10,000 X in 2.5 years and is designed to do so, but I have no idea at all if it will do that. I have absolutely no idea. It could go to zero. It could drop 85% or 95% any moment. It could never go up at all. I have no idea and neither does anyone else. So like it, I'm being as truthful and honest as I possibly can be. And, and I don't know what more the law could, could ask well, of me, right? I mean, I, I think you've definitely done a, a good job in, in terms of trying to be truthful and honest. I would just suggest as, as a friend to have legal Should counsel. I make it a thousand X? Should I make it 10 X? Should I make it one X? Should I say price? No. Should we never look at what price is doing crypto and just pretend that nobody knows that they go up a lot? Like there's not a lot of, there's no like, because well, uh, at some point there's a free speech issue, right? Like, am I allowed to talk about the behavior of things in the real world and describe what they likely do? And, and if I'm allowed to do that, you know, it's, it's a, it's a chilling effect to have to worry about speaking the truth about things. Like it, I mean, it hey, I mean, as somebody who, who's gone through the process of taking the Series 65 exam and now going through the process of becoming licensed for the SEC uh, and, and having a public persona where I create content, it's it definitely lots of red tape we have to walk through. Well, you, and, you, went, you were more open than anyone. I mean, you published yeah. your... So, I mean, Every Ian published day. how much money he made on all the deals that he did and the percentages of getting paid and everything. And I don't know anyone that's ever done that in any business ever. So. And people still call me a scam. <laughs> right, right. So like. <laughs> that's crypto for you. 